Hey guys, Funky Factory here. Thought I'd make a quick video showing you how to connect your PS4 controller to your PC, either via Bluetooth or via USB cable if you haven't watched the video already. So the first thing you're going to do is go ahead and open Chrome. And we're going to look up DS4 Windows. It should be the first thing that pops up. It's going to be by Jace 2 kings You can go ahead and go to the website click download it's gonna take you to this website you're gonna click this to download it I already have it on the system already so you're gonna open your folders go to whatever you have your downloads to you're gonna it's gonna be a WinRAR file so you're gonna have to extract it so go ahead and extract extract to DS4 Windows I already have it extracted here this right here is already the actual application that's all you need so you can move that to wherever you want on your computer, go to the program files wherever you want to have it saved. I already moved it to my external storage drive. So you're going to go ahead and ins uh, I don't think you have to install it, I think it's good to go already. So you're going to do that. And if you want to connect it through via USB, you're going to connect your USB to the PS4 controller. And it's going to be that simple. You're just going to connect it to the computer. Make sure the computer recognizes it. And then all you have to do is open the program. I already have it tasked to my taskbar. And as soon as you open the program, it should automatically get the controller. It's on right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. Should have gotten a longer cable. <laughs> but it should turn on right there. That's going to be the first way to do it. And then I'll go through the other steps after that. So if you want to do it via Bluetooth, so you're going to exit the program. First thing you're going to do is go to, so first of all, you have to make sure you have a Bluetooth card or via, or some form of built-in Bluetooth on your motherboard. Go to your Bluetooth settings, show Bluetooth devices. You're going to click on add Bluetooth or other device. So the thing you're going to do is you're going to hold the share button and the home button at the same time the PS4 controller should start flashing like that once you do that you're gonna go ahead and click on Bluetooth first thing it should pop up right away connect the controller your device is ready to go that's it simple as that done it's connected exit that and this time you're going to launch the DS4 program again. And it should detect the controller this time also. Just like that. It should show you the the battery life. I'm going to make that bigger. Battery life, it's connected by Bluetooth, by Bluetooth on the status. Battery, 30%. Default profile. <clears throat> and you can also change the lighting on the, uh, the controller to whatever you like. And to change to hotkey any of the controllers that you want, so it's going to be laid out like the Xbox. So you're going to each the, each button does what the Xbox One controller does. So you go ahead and hover each button, and it should let you click on it and then switch it to whatever you want. Share button. You can change it to the back button, or you could go through the list and actually click on it. So you would go through here. So the share button is the back button. It'll highlight it right there on the little screen for you. Double click it, and then it'll allow you to click whatever you want the function to be on there. You could also do it right there, share. Click on the button you want it to be, the back button. And you can pretty much set up any buttons you want to do that. So it's pretty much like connecting. Once you have this all set up, it's pretty much like connecting the Xbox controller through the wire. And then you could also change the color of your bar use custom color you can pick whatever you color you want it'll change to it green and if you just want it off you can just click the black uh, color and it'll turn off that way it'll save some battery if you don't like wasting the battery of the controller and that way you get more gaming out of it and you can click one of their settings I personally like the blue one leave it at that light blue like that color 
And that's pretty much it. Once you're done that, it's all good to go. You can use it as a Xbox One controller, except without doing all with all the cables and dealing with all this. And you can just enjoy your games with the PS4 controller. Simple as that. All you have to do now is launch the P uh, any of the games that you want to play, and it should allow you to play it like normal. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you liked it. It's a pretty quick video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and check out my other videos. And thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it.